Sorry. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. We need to understand the difference in the links of a certain note, a single note, because we're limited on the symbology. If you see this note, which I've drawn, this little red line here, this orange red line, that's just a quarter note as such. And if I'm tapping two, three, like that. One, two, three. The composer wants you to, to shorten the note. And as we have just discussed, there we don't want to have the note too, uh, we don't want to make it longer. So if you see a note, a, a line there, that extends by how much? Half of its value. But we're not doing that now. A dot on the top is going to cut the note in half. So what is half the value of a, so we're going to cut all this little half off. We're going to cut that off. I actually will erase it. So we need to now play the note this length. And if you know about the symbology, this becomes an eighth note. So now it's because you start to subdivide. Da, 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 da. Da, da. That is the composer's ability to tell you to shorten the note without actually writing in, well, eighth notes like this. But now the composer says, well, you know, that's a little too short. Going back to full length, it's a little too short. We want for you to shorten it, but not so much. Hence, we have the entrance the entrance. We have the usage of a, a something called the mezzo, which you see here in front of it, the mezzo spiccato. And before we get into that, we need to understand what that does. What does the line do above a note? We have already discussed the dot, and by logical deduction, if a dot cuts the note half of its value, then what if I drew a line? What will that do? And by logical deduction, if you are thinking, if I drew a line, does that make it longer than itself? Or does that make it what? And the answer is, this is called a tenuto marking. We It's different ways, but tenuto, T-E-N. So this, uh, you would, it's a uh, T-E-N-U-T-O, tenuto. And when you say tenuto, is, is, uh, is to be, it's like tenue, it's like pulled. Like you take something uh, and you pull it, but you don't rip it, but you pull it. So you make it long. So you make it in f to its fullest length. You notice something. Now we're going to get into the really close minutia. We're going to see where this starts, but you know how this ended just right before? So a tenuto will take it and really take it back to that, add just that length. You know, make sure it's long. So again, I'll play without tenuto. So I'll play just regular. I'm not really paying attention to where it releases. Now I'll play tenuto. I'll play to the fullest length, stretch it to the beginning to the end of that space and time. See that? I just that little bit, and this is where the tenuto comes in. That right there. You really hear that last bit. So what does it mean when we add this? We have the combination of the two, where we have here in the Anyway, number C. That means that mezzo spiccato. So you're taking what is already sliced in half. So we're going to slice it in half. We're going to remove half of this. But then you're going to lengthen that cut. So it can't be as long as a quarter, but it can't be as short as, a, as an eighth. It needs to be somewhere in between. Welcome to the nuance of music. So make a little longer. <laughs> so if, if this was here, it's somewhere 75% of that value. And that's what this is. So if you were to see this as such, it looks like this. This is to be played 
without any modifications. And I'm going to to do to really drive this home. I'm going to really erase. I'm going to erase our little markings. Oh, that's not the right one. Just the one. Sorry. Technical difficulties in my teaching stuff. We're just going to do this right now. This is it first. To, um, there's many ways you can play Tenuto. It's just you, 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 you make sure you fully give all of its length. But we're not talking about the Tenuto. This is a down, up, up, without any modifications. Okay, I'm not really thinking. I'm just, I'm just going through it. Okay, now let's add the modification. Let's add spiccato, or in this length, staccato. Notice how I'm really cutting, and there's space in between the notes. Now let's add a length to those, a little bit of length. Again. It's different from, which was this. Oh, excuse me. Come on now, come back. What happened? Oh, whatever. It's <laughs> going back to this. You hear the space as opposed mezzo spiccato, medium spiccato. A little bit longer, it's a little bit longer, or sorry. With the spiccato, now I'm going to lengthen the time on the string. And that is the little nuance of music that we are working on, is in order to have that, and some people will call that a detaché, which is true, you are detaching the notes. Detaché, which you've heard, you probably say a considerable amount of times. De, da, che. It's a French, means detached. Detaché, and so it's technically a detaché stroke. And we do that because we want to respect, as I've spoken before earlier in this lesson, the, the, the rule, the premier coup d'aché, which is the French rule, which is the rule of why we start every measured down bow. We want to have that down. So to have this detached mezzo spiccato, a little shorter, more mezzo. And there's the more mezzo. And the reason is we want to respect this word here, graziosi. Graziosi. You want to play graciously. And this is where all these little factors come in into your playing. Do you play, however, you can play this, these, these, these detaché strokes in a more energetic way, in an adante, in an allegretto, in a, in a moderato, or you can play it in a graziosi, grazioso, sorry. <laughs> I hope that helps you out understanding the tiny nuance, the minutia of playing this stroke. All right, enough of that talk. Let's hear you play it. 